But yes. I'm on Twitter now too. Are you? At Paul You're Kiska. You're so cool. <laughs> well, I want to so be like hip. I want to be like you. Don't do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And Paul Kiska, if you have any new tips, news tips or story ideas, plus you can see what I'm working on sometimes uh, during the day. But, you know, sleepless in Seattle. How about tired in Tremont? Yeah, getting a good night's sleep might be a little bit hard for folks right. this weekend. It's going to be getting a little bit noisy. How noisy? Well, that is the question. That says ODOT begins pile driving work for Pier 11, the final foundation pier for the new Interbelt Bridge over this weekend. And driving those 160 foot steel beams into the Cuyahoga Valley sounds something like this. Now, ODOT wants to run the pile drive around the clock for three weeks, hoping to beat some of the winter weather. They ran a similar night project back in September. That is what the video you saw, prompting those complaints from local residents about the noise. This time, city officials say they'll monitor the situation closely, and if they deem the work is disruptive, they'll halt construction between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. I've posted the latest information on the pile drive with links as well for the closures on the inner belt on my blog on newsnet5.com and in all seriousness the internet and twitter great resources for drivers to stay connected because there's nothing worse getting stuck in traffic and not knowing what it's all about that's a great tool but also at the same time that noise would would make it tough to sleep yeah odot's calling it a vacuum running in the next uh, room sound but again it's in the valley so the noise echoes so we'll have to wait and see and see what city officials decide well better this time of year perhaps with the windows closed and, and the furnace on so that is a that good point too, at least.